Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Grace and I'm a medical laboratory science student schooling in a Nigerian university. So I we just started my lab posting here in a hospital and I decided to make a series you know on this whole experience. So I plan to you know tell you guys what we do here in the laboratory, the equipment we use in different specialties of the laboratory and I was just posted to the histopathology unit and it's somewhere behind me one of those buildings behind me so the histopathology unit is a specialty that has to do with you know study of diseased tissues so there are two different types of samples we receive here the you know samples for histopathology and the samples for cytology so I would like you to stay with me throughout this whole series that I'll be putting out on my channel and if this is something you like you can actually just subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on any videos when I post them at this point I was just heading to my you know unit because this was my first time coming here so, yeah we are going to the you still do do I'm okay for our first day in our posting. So we're hoping to see what the experience will be like. So this is Joy. I have never ever ever seen my Jesus fail. Miracle Opa. Oh, Yay! I just arrived at the histopathology lab and these are some of the equipment that we use here. This is the embedding machine. It is used to, you know, embed the tissue in a molten wax and this is the chilling chamber or the chilling machine that is used to solidify that tissue. So on my right, you know, the tiny stuff that you're seeing there, that is the tissue that has already been embedded and chewed. So this is a microtome. So this microtome helps in sectioning of the tissue. And this sectioning is basically slicing it as you can see it here. So this helps to expose the tissue to enable proper viewing under the microscope. And this is one of the stages of tissue processing. These are really some of the stages of tissue processing. So you can't just view a tissue sample when you remove it from the body. It has to undergo various stages to enable for proper viewing under the microscope and to enable for proper diagnosis as well. So this is why we do these things in the histopathology lab. So this is basically coming out in ribbons and in the end you actually find out that the tissue now has been properly exposed and after this it is put in a water bath to help straighten out the ribbons and put on a hot plate this helps to liquefy that you know molten wax and to further expose these tissues to you know bring a clear picture under the microscope so these are different you know samples that we can see here this is a fibrous tissue there is also the breast tissue here, there are different, you know, ovaries, cysts and all that that is present in this histopathology laboratory. So all of them undergo various processes to help diagnose, you know, certain things like breast cancer and other diseases. So this is basically what we do in the histopathology laboratory, processing of tissues and... So this brings me to the end of, you know, today's video on, yeah, a day in my life as a histopathology intern so i really hope you learned something you know you've seen the equipment we use in the laboratory and it's histopathology unit so if you have questions you can actually just ask your questions and i'll be glad to reply them in the comment section so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more videos like this yeah you can actually just share this video to people who you think might find it helpful as well